hey guys welcome back to my channel and as you can tell by the title we are doing a nail video and i'm super excited because i've actually been doing my nails for a couple months now doing acrylics and i don't have any of my stuff i usually use an e-file and all the shabam you need but since i just moved to hawaii and i don't have any of that stuff shipped here yet we are going to do the kiss acrylic set and i got this at long's drugs which is like cvs back on the states but this is on the island so yeah and it's usually around like six to eight dollars at like walmart or cvs or something like that long's it was about eleven dollars because hawaii prices are very different i also got a file um nail remover because it don't come with nail remover and i just like to clean it clean my nails before I start filing and getting prepped and stuff like that then I also got two nail colors um I got like a pearl color which I'm excited to use and also like a glittery gold one um so I'm gonna be using those nail polishes and I'm gonna be putting the camera down so you can see what I'm doing but I just figured I'd talk to you guys for a minute anyways so usually I would I already have like nail tips and the primer and everything but because I don't have any of that here I'm going to use only what is in this kit and let's open her up before let me adjust the camera let's open her up before I start and you always want to put something on your table just to protect it because of everything so it comes with tips it comes with the french white and then it comes with natural which i'm going to be using the natural one it comes with a little brush i'm not a big fan of this brush but i'm gonna use it because i don't have anything and they didn't have any other nail brushes and then it comes with the white or clear acrylic powder and just closed it felt a little open that was closed I'm probably gonna open this before I put the nails on, and then it comes with the maximum. Can you see? It comes with the maximum. Why is it not focusing? This is what people do on YouTube. What well, comes with the Kiss Maximum Speed Nail Glue and the Kiss Acrylic as well, which is like this. I believe it is one flow ounce. Not even. It's fifty flow ounces. So almost 14 millimeters it comes with a cuticle pusher upper thingy majigger thing and then a pointy side i don't use the pointy side it comes with a buffer and then a file as well and you want to read the directions even though i'm pretty much pretty much know what i'm doing um we're gonna toss it oh <laughs> that was a fail i'm gonna toss that to the back and read some of the directions real quick Preparing your nail, clean the nail with any of any nail polishes, oils, use an acetone-based nail polish remover, trim and file the free edges of your nails, push back cuticles with the manicure stick. Oh, it's called a manicure stick. Okay. Um, gently buff the entire surface using the fine pink side, which is more of the buffer side. And then remove dust your natural years using a clean cotton ball soaked with acetone nail polish remover. And then putting the tips on is pretty much standard. Like you should know how to do that, I believe. So we're gonna skip the directions and I'm gonna pause or not pause, sorry. I will be back. I'm gonna get a cup for the acrylic liquid. I'm gonna open the powder and then I'm gonna size my nails and I will be back to start the process. Okay, so I am back. I sized my nails. I pushed my cuticles up. Um, I'm just taking the nail polish remover and I'm just cleaning my nails from any oils and stuff. And then I'm gonna buff them or file them a little bit. Um, and then we will get to the glue and the nails. I'm gonna do one hand on camera and one hand off camera and then I'll come back for like to do the filing and stuff because it does take pretty long time to do and i'm pretty sure you guys don't want to 
hour, two hour video on me doing my nails. So I'm just gonna now buff my nails, make sure there's no shine, and make sure they're kind of rough. Oh, was, was I doing that right side? No, it was the right side. And I'm just gonna do that to all my nails. Well, on this hand, I'm gonna do one hand first just so you guys can get the gist of it. And then I'll do the other hand and I'll come back and I'll show you how I kind of do my filing and painting and stuff like that. So I will be back. Okay, I'm back again. I filed them. They look very, um, do my own hand, right? They look rough. So I'm gonna just take that acetone again and I'm gonna clean up the dust on my nails. And then we're gonna get into the glue. Usually after this part, um, I would put the primer, but I didn't have any and the kit didn't come in with any. So I'm gonna stick with the kit. And now I'm gonna glue on my first set, first hand. Um, I guess I'll start with the thumb. And I'm just gonna put a dot on my nail. Or a, a lot <laughs> and I'm gonna put the tip these are round so usually some people put it up I don't I'm gonna try and keep the tip as low as I can get the tip and you want to hold down for like I do 15 to 30 second and you don't want any air bubbles because that can lead to lifting and of course <laughs> I have an air bubble if you can see it's like mm, right there I'm gonna move the camera down so you guys can see me I'm just gonna shift it down so you just kind of see what I'm what I'm doing a little bit um so as you can see there's one nail on there is a little air bubble if you can see I don't know if you can see because of ring light but um there's one on I just kind of feel where I want to put it and then I'll put the glue on and you don't want to put too much glue but you don't want to put oh you can't even see okay there we go you don't want to put too little I guess and you want to try to push it down so you get no air bubbles, which this one I feel like is going to be a good nail because there's no air bubbles. And I thought it was going to be crooked. And is it crooked? Uh, no. Uh, my finger itself is crooked, so it looks crooked. I do like really long nails. I would keep them this length, but... For work it's just not gonna re be realistic so and i'm gonna go into the next one usually you just put a dot and it will mm, i kind of like a lot of glue oh and just hold it down i put a lot of glue on these nails and i normally don't but I just never know. I get so scared not putting enough glue on and feel like it's just gonna come off. Oh, already, I know these are really long and <laughs> crusty, but once I have nails on, I feel so much more feminine. I got some damn glue on my finger. Okay, this is why I do one hand first. I get the acrylic on so it can like set because you wanna let the acrylic set before you start filing it. And oh, I keep doing it. The dot just never looks enough. And then you just hold it, press it down for 15 seconds, I guess. I do 30 just to be on the safe side. And I know this looks like an air bubble, if you can see, but it's not, it's not an air bubble. Okay, 
So we got, ooh, we almost got one whole hand, huh? And of course I got glue on my thumb. Uh, these are the little. This one has a lot of air bubbles. Fuck. Ooh. My nail got stuck. Ah, oh, shit. This one just messed up. It's not an air bubble, but the glue got on top of the nail. And it's a little damn crooked. So this one just went, I don't know if you can see, but it's crooked. I want to take it off and do another one. But I'm not. I'm going to let you guys see how raw this looks. Then I'm going to freak. I'm going to take my nail clippers. Usually, once again, I have the nail cutters, but I don't have them at the moment. So I'm just going to clip them down to the length that I want them with the nail clippers. Um, these nail clippers are not the best to do these with, but I think I'm going to cut them twice, if that makes sense. Like, I'm going to go down twice, like cut, I don't know how to explain it, like, mm, maybe a little bit shorter than that. I'll go three times. And something like that. I'm gonna file them. But let me just chop them down. Okay, the smaller nails, I hate about these nails. These freaking tweez tweezers, oh my God, these nail cutters. It gets stuck. Okay, I got it. And I'm gonna cut this one. Be like that way. Jeesh. Um, all right, I'm gonna cut the rest of the nails and I will be back. Now that I cut my nails to the kind of the length I want them, I'm gonna file this to make them straight and then we will go in with the filer and just file where the tip and the real nail meet so it's more gradually gradually oh my god um so it's smooth and then i will be back to do the acrylic on this hand and then we will finish up hi i'm back okay so i kind of shaped them to what i kind of want i'm not completely done yet but i figured i just i like my square a little more tapered i will for them a little bit more once the acrylic is on i don't like filing too much and loosening the nail at all so what i'm gonna do is i took my thumb as you can see i buffed it even the nail part so i took the i took the the shiny part off um it's your preference you don't have to but i feel like the acrylic sticks better to the nail if it's buffed so i'm just going to take off the shininess out of these four nails like i did for this one and then I will come back to do the acrylic and then yeah we will get into more i just don't want to make it so long for you guys so i'll do one on camera real quick and i'm just gonna just like i did with this nail um well that's like is that glue um i'm gonna buff the nail to make where the real nail and the fake nail meet i'm gonna buff it so it kind of looks natural and it's not like a bump 
and I'm just gonna buff the whole nail and get the shininess off. You can use either side. I kind of go back and forth with both sides. Um, and you're just gonna buff, buff, buff. File, file, file. That's the key to the Kiss Nails is, it's not the best, but if you take your time with the filing and the acrylic, you can get a pretty decent nail especially for cheap i know in hawaii nails are pretty pretty pricey and get them on a budget that's what that's what this video is about is how to do your nails and look nice on a budget so i took pretty much the shine off of this nail as well and <laughs> this nail looks a little crooked as well um so I'm gonna keep going and I will be right back to do the acrylic. What is on my nose? There is a little dust on my nose. I will be back. I am back once again and I already filed as much as I felt like would be needed to get the all the shiny off. I got them to kind of the square that I want. Um, not the best shaping. However, I usually use my e-file to shape as well. Um, I will file more once the acrylic is on. I'm going to just take this little the acrylic liquid and I just have this little container thing that I'm going to use and hopefully it doesn't eat at it. And I am going to start the acrylic. You want to get the brush wet. Let me see. I'm going to pull you guys down a little bit more don't mind my foot locker thing I didn't want to okay all right so I'm gonna start with the pinky and I'm just gonna grab a little bead like this and I'm gonna start in the middle of the nail and you want to pat make sure I kind of drag down a little bit. You can do it however you want. And wipe. I usually wipe on the inside. I'm just gonna use my shirt. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more and I'm gonna wipe most of it off. And take another Dab, and I'm going to go a little bit down, take a little bit more, and I'm going to go to the bottom of the nail, and it really is all where you place the acrylic. We'll take a little, little bead like this to get near the cuticle you want to make sure you get near the cuticle just so um, you're not missing any spots because you don't want it to look crusty when you put the nail polish on so I'm just going to keep doing that and you should have something like I'm about to order rub, rub off of your back, right? This. Okay, love you. What? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Nothing. I'm going to the red box. Okay. Alright. You're walking? Yeah. In that? Yeah. Alright. And I'm just gonna do the next nail. And I'm gonna pat it. Pat, 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 pat. And I'm gonna keep patting. Make sure you wipe your brush. Some people don't wipe. I, I didn't wipe my first time doing this and it looked it crazy. My brush got all like, um, 
the curly got stuck to it and it just didn't look good you want to just keep molding it to your nail and you could drag it down I like my nails really thick but it's all on your preference on how you like your nails I like mine super thick well not only just super thick but just like um kind of like that probably go a little bit thicker just because I'm gonna file and and I know um I'm gonna add a little bit more to the tip. You wanna get kinda how do you like it. Just perfect it to how you want it. You don't wanna get it too bumpy. You wanna try to avoid the bumpiness as much as you can oh. now I'm gonna move on to the next one and I oh fuck I got some um I think this is not gonna be Um, what was I going to say? I think I'm going to have to change this uh, thing where I have my acrylic in because I think it's eating the plastic and that's not, that's not good. And it's, I guess you would say wasting it. I'm gonna finish the rest off camera because you kind of get the point you just don't want it bumpy and then I will be back to show the file in this is gonna take way too long if I continue <laughs> hey you guys I am back and I just want to show you how I kind of do it I'm on to the next hand and I kind of pat and drag down and then you kind of pat as much as you can always white pat white before you dip do not just dip before it should look something like this like that I usually like them like that a little bit more thicker always want to be thicker in this middle section of your nail because that's where um, well, you see that's not dry um, that's where all the strength comes from and I'm just gonna keep going I have four more nails and then we're off to the filing once the filing is done I will show you how I file as much as I can try to speed through the process and we'll get on to painting the nails okay so I got the acrylic on all the nails, um, they look kind of crusty. 
the brush sucks but overall I think they're okay they feel pretty sturdy this hand is still kind of um, what is it not ready not dry this hand as you can see I'm gonna show you guys when you know it's ready if you tap them and you can hear that tapping then they're pretty much ready to be filed so I'm gonna file this hand and wait for this hand to kind of get more hard and secure and it is cold in my house right now because I got the window open and it's very windy so I'm just gonna take this file which is a beauty 360 brush uh, brush <laughs> 360 file and I'm just gonna start filing my nails to the shape that I want I do like a square shape but more of a tapered um, tapered so I'm just gonna go ahead I think filing is pretty much common sense anybody that excuse me anyone that knows um, that filing is pretty much filed to the shape that you want. So always file to however you want it and you like it. Um, don't file so much like this. Kind of keep it in one movement. Don't You don't want to be like that. And if you're going to do a tapered, tilt it a little bit but not too much. You don't want it like this because then you will get a point. And it'll, it's not going to be as straight. You want to keep your file as straight as you can to get um it's hard to see let me move the camera down one more time you the nail and you kind of keep it straight with the nail you don't want to have it in too much like this and you don't want to have it not fit your nail you kind of want it to hug the side and you want to just go keep going file to how you like it i'm gonna file my nails off camera because it will take way too long and then i will be back to show you the final file and then i will show you how i paint my nails and what i kind of do to them i don't do too much i like my whole nail covered um like i said i'm going to be using this pearl shape color but i will show you that in the next part of the video Okay, I am back and I'm finally done with the filing. I just washed my hands. <laughs> I just washed my hands and so far this is how they look. Um, I just did square because square is probably the easiest to get done. Um, so now I'm gonna paint a little sore um so i'm not sure how i'm gonna do it yet let me just clean up my little mess uh, pick up a little bit and i'm going to start painting I think I want to do the pearl color on these three and have these three, these two gold and then have these two gold and have the pearl on these three. So. I forgot what I was just about to, okay, yeah, no, no, I got it. So I'll show you guys how I don't mind that I'm using a foot locker bag. Um, pick all this up after. So I'm, I'm pretty sure this color is gonna be very sheer. So I'm just gonna It is very sheer, but it is okay. I don't mind a sheer color. I actually like them. So I'm 
So that is one. Can't see too much. Uh, once you put nail polish on, you can kind of see where your nails aren't that smooth. I kind of gave up with the, ooh, I kind of gave up with the filing because let's be real, I've been filing for a very long time. You guys are only seeing partial of it. And then I'm gonna do my pinky. And then I got a gold color that I'm gonna put. So these three are painted the pearlescent color. And then I'm gonna do these two, this gold glitter. Um, I think I just messed it up. Ah, I messed it up. This is what happens when you paint damn nails. Of course, you gotta mess up while I'm doing it on camera. I'm probably gonna cut. This video is still pretty long. And of course, it is like see-through. So I'm gonna do a couple layers of this just so you can't even see it on camera. A couple layers of the gold just so you can see it a little bit more I'm gonna do the other hand off camera don't really look like too much of a difference off camera because I suck at painting this hand and then I will be back once again to show you the final look and yeah, so I will, ah, oh, shoot, messed it up. <laughs> I will be back again. Okay, guys, I am finally done after about two and a half hours. I am done filing. I actually painted them, and I give up. This is the final look. They're still kind of dry, so I'm trying not to, but it's just like a pearl color, and then these two fingers are like a clear gold let me see if i can turn my brightness down if it would um catch it a little bit um like a sheer gold type of fingers and then my pinky and my thumb as i mean not my pinky my ring finger my thumb is also those colors and the rest are pearls i kind of i don't really like them but it is what it is if you guys like this video of me doing my nails and want to see more once I get my actual nail kit back from where I used to live, um, I will do more videos like that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel to see more content. And I love you guys. Thank you for watching the video if you stuck through the whole video. And we are done. This is the final look and i am okay with them not my best work but it is what it is thank you guys